Hey everybody out there in Boar Mastery Land, it's Vaughn Liddy Coach here, and we want to say a massive thank you to the 3,000 big ones, 3,000 Facebook fans that we just got the other day. We're crouching up to about 600 subscribers on YouTube as well, so thank you if you're over on that channel. And I have a question for you. Have you ever been called a donkey when you dance? And the reason for that is that was like the first thing that happened to me when I was in the dance studio, right? Like I had a great coach, we developed a beautiful relationship over like 15 years and she ended up passing away this year. So we honor Penny DeCow a lot this year uh, for being so instrumental in our dance career and our life. But uh, my first experience dancing was basically this. I go into the studio, I'm like pacing out the front door, I'm walking back and forth and thinking, oh God, I'm nervous or I'm feeling sweaty palms. Have you ever had that feeling where you're nervous to go inside a dance studio because it's so scary, you feel that you'll like be judged, right? And so I'm, I'm like back against the wall. I finally uh, go in and do my first class with Penny. She made me feel very welcome as, as most dance teachers do. And so I get in, start doing my steps and uh, you know, sort of halfway through the class, she's like, you're a donkey. <laughs> Look at how you're stepping and the truth was I absolutely was my feet like man I didn't know my heel from my toe my my whole motivation to dance like the super secret was basically it was this it was no higher ethic or you know Transformational message. I basically want to dance with pretty girls, right? Like dudes if you feel me out there Give me a little like that's all I want to do. I was a boy at school I was like 17 18 and uh, I was at an all-boys school and I figured you know what what better place to go and meet chicks than at the dance studio. And rather than tackling sweaty boys on the football field, that's what I'd go and do. So I rocked into the dance studio and what would I find, right? It was me and this other dude, and one other guy, and about 30 chicks. I was like, this is perfect. And you know what's crazy? I got my wife out of that first class. Isn't that wild? Now, I didn't go in there thinking that and I didn't think, oh, I'm gonna marry anyone here. But that's what ended up transcending, right? We started our first class, took our first steps together, then going down this beautiful pathway of competing and building together, falling in love, falling out of love, falling in love, that sort of tre you know pathway, moving overseas and then starting a studio and now a family together. But it's crazy what can happen, right? This first time you might be called a donkey or someone might look at you dancing and go, ah, and they will, you know, you might get belittled or ridiculed. You gotta be tough, right? You gotta be tough to just get through that initial phase. But if you're feeling that, like if you've ever had that type of, you know, someone said anything, just let me know. Cause it's sort of funny to look back on because I didn't take it personally. I knew I was like totally bad. But the point of my message is this, if myself and my wife can do it, and the people we teach in the studio who come in as raw beginners can work their way up through medals and to be competitors and dance, you can absolutely do it. I want you to hear the message loud and clear. You can do it, right? But there's something that's missing, right, for most people. And that is, it's, it's not necessarily that they can do it. I think that's the first thing I was saying. It's that you maybe don't know how to unleash the best version of yourself dancing. And I truly believe the foundation for that is not in the technique of your dancing. It's actually in the mindset or your attitude of your dancing when you first begin. Now, if you're feeling this, give me a little like or shout out below or let me know what you think of this. I think if you get that part right first, your mindset, your attitude, and then the second part can take place and that is the technical lesson, the, the, the aspect of how you, what I like to call upskilling, right? So if you're upskilling in your dancing, it means that you have the attitude of that, and this is definitely what I found with the best dancers in the world and very good dancers and better dancers, they all have one attitude in common and that is that they never know enough, right? Like that they can always learn more, they've never hit a pinnacle, they're not perfect, but the, you know what the very worst dancers do? And I know you know people like this in your studio. The worst dancers are the ones that think they know it all. Right? Like, you know what I'm talking about. We've all seen what they're like. I mean, in the competitive world, you wouldn't believe how many really, you know, high level dancers, but they weren't, you know, the biggest names in, in dancing. You barely know these people, right? But they had the biggest attitude. Their, their attitude blocked them off. It closed their mind because they thought they knew it, they got it. And because they'd had a few victories, they, they really thought they were the shit or the bee's knees, right? And that's where you kill your progress. So I want you to understand something. You can definitely be a better dancer, right? I think this is really important for you to hear. You, there is absolutely no ceiling for you in that respect. Even if you are maybe a bit older when you started dancing. Uh, I was 18 when I wanted, to, when I, actually 19 when I started my competitive 
dancing career, which is like a freaking dinosaur in the dancing world, right? That's old. Most people think you start at six years old. So the champions I was going up against were already champions at my age when I started. So the, the point is, is that I believed in my coach's ability, and I'm hoping you believe in my ability to believe in you, that you can be better and there is no real ceiling for you. But you may have a physical limitation, right? You might, you might have a, a something in your body that, that you just can't change and that's okay. That can become your asset if you know how to use it. But if you have the attitude that you can get better, regardless of your age, regardless of when you start, regardless of your circumstance, then you can. But then what you need is the correct application of the right technique and the right knowledge at the right time. And it's very easy in dancing to get like totally confused and to get very, I suppose it's easy for a teacher to get caught up on real technical stuff and to make it sound harder than what it is. I think, think of it like this. Do you know any teachers in your school from back in the day when you're at school that made a subject so complicated that you're like, I hate the subject? Or, or is it, did you have a teacher that you loved because they just simplified things and went, ah, is it that simple? You know, the, in, I'll give you an example. In ballroom dancing, I think it's a foundation to focus on three things. Footwork, timing, and posture. If you master those three elements and you knew nothing else but you get deep on those subjects, you would become a freaking weapon in dancing. Because within the footwork, timing, and posture principles, there is a lot of layers, there's a lot of depth, and a lot of structure. But if you start getting caught up on everything else outside of dancing, uh, all the other technical requirements, it gets overwhelming because you're like, what do I master first? You know, it becomes one of those things of knowing too much and doing too little. So here's what I'm gonna ask for you to do. There's a link I want you to click. It's called Boru Mastery Blue, Blue, Blueprint. <laughs> I got it right, right? Boru Mastery Blueprint. And what it is, it's a gift from me to you of lessons that I put out each month that are in an audio and PDF format that you can listen to and you can read them and, and then digest them and use them as a click in like Lego to your dance lessons in the dance studio. And they're around specific subjects. So they go for about 10 to 15 minutes, sometimes 20 minutes. But I'll talk to you, for example, on one week about true technique, what that really means. I'll talk to you another week about floor pressure, how to use that specifically, or maybe a best practice for dealing with a partnership problem you may have, or how about getting the right mindset or the best way to practice. What about specific tips and tricks for waltz or foxtrot or cha cha or jive? You know, we go deep on those elements so you can put in the one thing that will actually help you get to the next level. The students I've had test this and go through it so far, I've had outrageous results and success all over the world. They've never seen me, they've never even seen a video of me teaching dancing uh, like you might get on YouTube, but from that information, they've applied it and done really well. Now here's what I want from you. It's only nine bucks a month, right? If you don't like it, I'll refund your money. It's, it's no problem. You can even keep the lessons, okay? Uh, but what I'm gonna do with those lessons, once you interact with them, I wanna find out what you like and what really you enjoy learning about so I can make videos on it. And when I make those videos, they'll be very in-depth, very structural, uh, in, very instructional and very structured so you can become a better dancer uh, and you can d go deep on them as well. Uh, but I'm not gonna do that for every bit of dancing because it's otherwise becomes so overwhelming. There's so much information when you really get into it. So what I need from you is, is check out the link, sign up for it, it's nine bucks, 99 a month, and if you don't like it, you can just you know, cancel and keep the lessons, it's no problem. But if you do like it, what I can guarantee you is that you'll see a difference in your dancing. I know it'll work because I've been testing it. You know, I've got an amazing studio here in Australia. Uh, amazing clients, I'm so biased. We have like freaking awesome people that come to our classes and, and, and dance with us. And they've really found a certain way that we have broken these lessons down that helps them a lot. And I know they'll work for you as well. Even if you're not physically dancing with me right now, this information could transcend the geographical boundaries and really help you to rock it out and take you to that next level, whatever that may be for you, okay? So check out the link. Awesome to have you as part of Bora Mastery. Like I said, we're here to help you. We don't want location to be a, a, a restriction and we wanna share the knowledge that we've spent really 15 years or so literally learning from the best in the world. The, uh, Anthony Hurley, um, uh, Penny DeCal, who learned from Alex Moore, who wrote the technique book. The dancing that you do, the technique that is done all over the world, comes from Alex Moore and guys like Anthony Hurley, who sat on like I call the Knights of the Round Table. They basically cooperatively put this technique together and Alex Moore wrote it out. He's a real genius, but our coach learned from him for 10 years and we spent 15 years dancing, uh, right up until when she passed away this year, learning and digesting from her. We were doing five, six lessons a week, every week, 
for 10 years, right? So we've got a lot of knowledge from her and none of this is ours. We break down concepts that we've learned. So like we can totally brag all over it because we didn't create ballroom dancing, right? But what we do specialize in is really um, helping break a complex subject down and hopefully making it simple for you to understand. So here's the takeaway for today. If you've danced like a donkey, we've got the cure. Click the link. If you want to focus on three things, it is footwork, timing, and posture. Master them, go deep, and you'll become an amazing dancer. I want to thank you for your time. I love having you on the page. Write a comment below. Let me know what you'd like to learn, and I look forward to seeing you in Bora Mastery Blueprint. Check out the link, and I'll see you in there soon.